we've had our fun by Tyler Childers. It is going to be played in standard tuning and then capoed on the second fret of the guitar. From this point forward, I'll be speaking of the chord shapes and the frets as though the capo is the nut and referring to frets 1, 2, 3, and 4 instead of the real frets of 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I'll be calling chord shapes like this an A minor, even though technically it's a B minor based on the fact that we're capoed right there. So for this song, you need to know chord shapes of E minor, uh, I'm sorry, A minor, E minor, a C major, and then variations on the minor chords with a barred A minor and a barred E minor shape relative to our capo, of course. So, the intro to this song, uh, and whenever I say intro, I guess what I mean is the first chord that we hear, I think, is this. It is, I've got my ring finger on the fourth string two fret, and that's the only thing that I've got down. Four string two fret with my ring finger, and then I'm going with my right hand up down. And then, Uh, we fall into an E minor. So for the E minor, we're going to leave our ring finger where it is on the 4 string 2 fret, and then with our second finger, we'll be moving to the 5 string 2 fret. Now we get a bit of a pulsed rhythm. So a normal E minor is just this, but... A bit of a pulsed rhythm where our right hand is going up, down, up, down, and our left hand second finger is going to be mimicking that up down up down off of the five string down to the five string off of the five string down to the five string so do you hear how in that e minor really we're hearing a tonality of but inside of and it's real kind of chunky so once you get the up down up down then it gets into a a bit of a different strumming pattern Down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down. So the strumming pattern, and you can see and hear how I'm continuing to pulse my second finger off the five string and onto the five string there. So that's really kind of important to the feel of the song. And then out of that E minor, it goes to the A minor. The A minor is open five string, second finger to the four string two fret, ring finger to the three string two fret, first finger on the two string one fret, and we're doing the same chunky pulsed feel with our right hand. With our left hand, uh, ring uh, second fingers coming off the fretboard and sometimes ring finger coming off the fretboard for And so it just does that back and forth between the E minor and the A minor for several rounds. Sometimes in the E minor, eventually, I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but eventually in this E minor, you can hear it go. Like some sort of a pull on that six string three fret. And I'm doing that with, in the E minor chord, using my pinky finger to grab that six string three fret. It's like a fret and pick, pull off, hit with pick. Inside of the E minor chord. All right, so after rounds E minor to A minor, E minor to A minor several times, we then get the C major. And then with a kick off of the six string three fret, back down to the E minor chord. So the way that we'll play the C chord is ring finger on the 5 string 3 fret. Our second finger will be hammering to the 4 string 2 fret. An open 3 string. First finger on the 2 string 1 fret. An open 1 string. 
So that's the way that I'm feeling that rhythm is like a down hammer with second finger to the fourth string two fret. And my right hand is like going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down is the main gist of the emphasis, but sometimes once you get into that strummy rhythm, you may be doing kind of more ghost picking of just kind of light hits on the strings with your pick between those hammers and the C. And then after, so one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, on the four of the second round of the C, you would want to move with ring finger to the sixth string three fret just to hit that kick of that kind of G note, which isn't really a G note, back down at the E minor. So. Um, sometimes in the C chord, you can hear Tyler Childers hammer with his pinky finger down to the fourth string three fret. In the intro to this tutorial, I just did a common Tyler Childers lick, which is whenever you hammer down your pinky finger in the C shape, hammering pinky finger down to the, to the four string three fret, which kind of makes it enough. A lot of times he'll then hit with his right hand, hit the string, and pull off pinky finger to expose where your second finger still is on the four string two fret, and then immediately pull off the second finger. So you've got and then hammer that second finger right back down into C position on the four string two fret. And then hit the G chord or hit the kick note back in the E minor. So sometimes it does that on the C. All right, the other variants. Uh, after the first kind of, uh, I guess, verse and maybe chorus, the feel of the A minor will change to this. So what I'm doing is I'm moving up to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fret, and I'm barring with my first finger uh, across the 5 fret. Then my ring finger is going down on the 5 string 7 fret. My pinky finger is going down on the 4 string 7 fret. And then my bar is still grabbing the 5 fret of strings 3, 2, and 1. Sometimes I feel like I can hear Tyler Childers lifting his pinky finger. Sometimes maybe both his ring and pinky fingers. To mimic that feel of the chunk pattern, the hammered pattern that we were doing in our E minors and A minors. So that's your A minor and then it moves to the E minor which will be a barred E minor at some points. And it does this, again, just kind of in the middle of the song. So I'm now barring across the relative 7th fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is the real, I guess, 9th fret. And then uh, my first finger bar will be grabbing the relative to the fret 7th fret of string 6 and 5. Then my ring finger is going to go on the relative 9th fret of string uh, 4. My pinky finger on the relative not uh, the relative nine fret of string three, and then my second finger down on the relative eight fret of string two. Same feel there with that chord shape, and then back into normal A minors. Back to B minor. So anyway, it's pretty simple as far as chords go. The difficult part is what the right hand is doing. And the way that I got it, I feel like sometimes it's really difficult to explain the right hand uh, rhythm with Tyler Childers songs. A lot of it seems to just be feel. So before I did this tutorial, what I did was just put in a set of he headphones and play with the recorded version of the song over and over until eventually my right hand started clicking with his right hand. And then once it clicks, it kind of just sticks there with you and your right hand.
So those are the chords and the movements till we've had our fun by Tyler Childers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.